All right, Out of System fam, we're back with another fantastic video. Micah, Ma'a, and myself, Joe Worsley, we're going to be breaking down our offenses for our professional club teams here, myself and Chalmont uh, in the French League, and Micah uh, with Hulkbank in the Turkish League. We're going to take you guys through all our different sets, uh, kind of the way we set each position on the court for us and why we do it that way and just looking and breaking it down analyzing between the two teams about before we get started with that i got to shout out our camp and clinic series we're doing a lot of setter hitter sessions this summer we're focusing a lot on that so the stuff you hear today we want to work with you guys on uh, this coming summer out of system.net has all, the entire tour 2024 tour listed on there uh, we're starting to announce a lot of our other coaches coming we have a, some really really uh big name coaches coming on board athletes that you guys recognize so make sure you're following along on social media uh go get some merch too you guys see i'm repping repping our new merch uh come rep it while you guys visit us on tour we're excited about it but i'm also excited to learn from micah we're both headed into playoffs here it'll be interesting to hear see here it kind of matches at the end of season what it looks like for us um before we get going here all right so we're gonna start in position four here in system with micah um all right micah take us through here all right all right this is me that's gordon perrin my roommate actually we're in the hotel right now uh canadian national team captain for a long time two-time olympian um and then my other outside is urban ingapath obviously from france for gordon it's just about getting it up yeah like he's just so big that if he if he's up there high and hitting it hard like kind of the russian school thought like high hard and deep and that's kind of all it needs to be and then he has like the new game of like the tips down the line and stuff uh, and then Irving, <laughs> Irving doesn't really give much feedback. <laughs> he just he just wants the ball, and then once it comes to him, he's able to do whatever whatever the ball presents itself to do. It's funny, actually, the podcast dropping in two days when this video drops. Uh, check out that he talks about a lot of his you know about his sets and stuff like that. So it's good timing. But you can tell that on Gordon here, it's a little bit more hang on it. And he's trying yeah. to drive, but he played in Russia for a while too. So. Our opposite, Namir Abdelaziz, is also good in one. Um, his ball is a little bit more similar to Gordon's, uh, but his gets out to the antenna because he, he primarily likes a spike line. So just three different balls, three different guys that can do a lot with the misses too. So it kind of frees you up. Do you go fast with everybody from anywhere on the court? Or like, what is your guys' system with that? To be honest, it's all player oriented. Like, you know, like we have an idea. I, I have an idea of what I would like to do. But at the end of the day, I'm not calling everybody's like fast and four and slow and two and like it's that's on them to let me know what they want. And so depending, they just choose and, and you got to give them the ball that, that they ask for. I, I totally hear you. It's interesting, like from stuff that I've heard in the past versus like my coach this year is like you need to play the ball and the and the hitters will adjust to your hands and your speed and everything. Like if they're just expecting perfect balls or like whatever the case is and that you're going to adjust to them, like a lot of times they get like when you do miss they're yeah. kind of just committed to a shot or committed to a place where the ball is supposed to be. 100%. And instead, if you're working from that other mindset, it's like their feet are just a little bit more active, their brain's a little bit more active, and they're able to kind of like step close to balls that if they were just expecting a, a certain ball that they wouldn't be able to get to. With my team, you have three hitters you're going to see. You're going to see Victor Cardoso, Brazilian outside, in my opinion, the best outside in the league this year. Um, very physical great serve really good athlete i think you'll see him good amount in vnl this summer from what i've been hearing uh and he's got a shot here in the next two quads really to make an olympic roster then you have philip seston croatian national team player nico sukonen finnish national team player so all national team guys rare occasions that we play slow like that's kind of like the slower ball is for victor there he's a scorer right there so pass a little bit three meters you know <laughs> Just give him the ball. Let him deal with it if he passes it three meters. Here we play with a little more pace. And I think this is what I was talking about. It's like the hitters adjusting more to my speed. Yeah, that's um, a nice ball. And obviously, it's the, I'm not setting the same ball for every single guy. But this is very not a good ball. This is, it's funny. Shout out to our editor, Joe Malik. I think we, uh, he picked one, in my opinion, one of the matches I didn't set that well in. <laughs> so it's good it's, it's a little more realistic uh video here joe. <laughs> thanks joe um but right there like That's that messed up joe yeah for me i always thought the hitters this and this is something that we trained a lot at hawaii once they got in this mindset 
how much it changed their ability to score is crazy. It's like you've got to like beat the block and hit out of rhythm of the block. And so you got to be fast on the ball, fast arm. And that's why I tell our hitters all the time. It's like, man, even on a fast set, the block's not going to be perfect ever. I mean, unless they're just like, like on rare occasions. So you need to go fast and through the seam. Even if it's a little bit off, you still just need to go fast and through the seam and, and long. And there's always like openings and stuff, especially with the speed that we go. And so this is like one thing I always tell them is you need to be fast with your arm. Get your feet to the ball, on top of the ball. Don't wait. Um, and so that's a really big thing for us, especially with when we go fast from everywhere. Getting to out of system here right. with in four. That's a pretty good pass. <laughs> Irving tips it and gives it back to them. Yeah, so savage. Maybe talk about like where you're trying to set the balls to on out of system, where you guys talk about like like location and like distance off the net and stuff. It depends on how bad it is. If it's really, really bad, then you're obviously going to try and get the ball just as close to the net and with a nice trajectory. Um, and then if it's like my feet are there, like that ball, you're trying to give just a good, a good hittable ball, a high inside and tight. If you're in trouble and if your feet are under the ball and like inside the court as setters, then obviously a little bit more off the net so that we can potentially get a, a swing if, if it's perfect. And I think Irvin, just speaking from observing him, his entire career is like the, one of the best at like <laughs> these, these situations. He's, his ability to score or make the right decision is just absurd. Like he has so many different things he can do. We're pretty similar. Um, like I said, we there's rare times, like I'm gonna be bump setting a couple times, but anything in this area right here, we talked about this after, like our outside started super early on this approach. I was like off the court mm -hmm. and then he just gets like way in front of the ball. You need to like wait a whole like step basically when the setter gets like to these extremes outside the court and maybe you take like a fall a uh, small if you're on a four step approach a small like initiation step but you're not going past there until you kind of see the ball and see the set and then like accelerate on the ball but he kind of like yeah started i think the also like also you could prep a little bit but you don't want to have your first step be like your momentum going in the wrong way before the ball's out of the hands. I mean, anything extreme, I like to bump set. I feel really confident like with my platform and creating that spin. The hitters always love that too. Like generating mm -hmm. that spin, especially Victor. I've never, I he's, I've never seen anybody attack high balls better than this guy. Like tw it's 12 feet off the net, man, he'll light it up into the corner. Like he'll go, f it's crazy. Cause he's so physically so high that he'll, uh, and he somehow just gets his hand on the ball. It's crazy. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like Micah said, depends on the extremity of the ball, what you're trying to do location wise and the level of the attackers too. I haven't set too much pipe this year, actually in general. <laughs> that was, I mean, that was the first play of the second set. I want to say, ah, it's too low. I think Bart gets him on this. There's a full runway, and it's pretty obvious choice that I'm going to go to him, and he dives to five. Yeah. Stare down. <laughs> Anybody watch what Irvin just did there? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of French guys do this. I've been in the French league. A lot of French guys love to do this. They're like, no, if they if it's easy ball, they no look. Um, anybody yeah, who's just that French, up and coming that volleyball flare. players, do not do this. The like, French flair. I don't know how these pipes are, but. Yeah, he's Victor jump can land jump and land under the net pretty consistently if he wants to on the pipe. He's super physical on that. And they shift over. He just goes behind. This is something really quick. And Mike, I want your opinion on it. I tell all yeah, our totally. outsides. So when I go forward, when I move forward like this, yeah, and I get into like this zone, the one yeah. thing I tell our outsides is step with me towards that direction because of the angle of the approach for me like when they stay directly middle like to hit a perfect ball the ball has to come and land directly like there's only like a small window that you can really like get on it where if you step with the setter it creates like that angle where you can then cut the ball off at different points yeah that's a, get it that's a super a smart better. comment to make I, I haven't made that same thing even here. there yeah exactly exactly and they get in these weird positions like the ball has to be kind of perfect yeah 
Yeah. But as you see, we play like we play a heavy amount of pipes. So teams bunch a lot. As you get this late in season too, it's like everybody has your numbers and your distribution. So this guy's Marko Matic, he's a big boy from Bosnia, Turkish guy. And then this guy's Emre Tayez, he's a Turkish player as well. It's a nice route. A lot of that push stuff um, in this game, we were playing a lot of push. It just opens up a little bit more angles. Um, and we knew that they, that those those two guys had, had, had a little bit of a problem. So defending you, the push and they're better at, at playing against the front one so you guys go push and you go pipe over the push i noticed too yes yes we do so except for extended. the fact that hi guys bro uh, speaking of it we're like hey this is this is this is actually the guy live, that i'm setting live, right now live, live. <laughs> no 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 not live no not live. Uh, no. hello bro so pat all right you'll see pat gasman my middles uh american middle blocker he's involved with the national team Mike Marshman, American middle blocker, same thing. And then Dan McDonald, veteran, national team guy, US. We have all American middle blockers, but uh, all very different how we kind of play, I would say. But Pat, like you saw in the first ball here, just throw it in there fast. Man, his arm's yeah. so fast. And he I don't know how it he is, man. Dan, always a little bit further away from me, so I have to push a little bit. That's a really <laughs> low set from off the net. Pat, for us, is the best from like all situations. So Gasman, like he's a guy who can just throw it in from anywhere. Dan is like flies. When he gets into games, he just fly like in system, like per situation. Yeah. He just set it. He just oh, hits it over. And Mike is super fast arm. So much of our decision making is all personnel based. Yeah. Yeah, you want to do certain things, but you just there's things you just aren't gonna be able to do, and there's things you are gonna be able to do. Like yeah, Mike is such a lot more shoot than me, but with Pat, I Pat's really like the main guy we play with on our team, and mm -hmm. with him, it's just kind of fast. Like I said, this match was not one of my best matches, in my opinion. But, <laughs> so, okay. it's like, this is more Joe, of like a Joe double. Got you dirty on this. That was more of a double push, too, at the end there with Dan. That's kind right. of like the distance around the double, let's double push. How do you handle when they're just like committing, committing like all day? And you're like, the, you can tell the middle's getting frustrated because they just want to get set. You're like, dude, it's like open everywhere else all day. Like, how do you handle For that? For sure. Um, change the route. And yeah. then change the situation that I'm giving it to them in. Um, and then, yeah, like, for example, the guy's following the seven. Maybe yeah. I'll give it to him in counterattack because um, a lot of people are less likely to jump yeah. on uh, in counter. That's then, transition for Americans. Oh, yeah, in transition. Or or if I really want to get him a ball, I'll call him on a front one. And yeah. they know that I set him a, lo a lot less on that. And then... Hopefully we'll connect there. Yeah, we go fast back, which you're about to see here. Super fast right. back, and it puts which a lot of pressure. Which we have actually changed since the last, since the last game. Me and Amir are playing fast when he's nice. first line. Um, it helps a lot, opened, man. It's it's opened everything up. It's much better. Dude, when it's you're a blocker, better. when I'm a, I know when I'm like blocking, and I know it's slow ball to the pin. It's like, all right, then you feel confident to bunch in a little bit, help out. Like you're like, I can get there with plenty of time. When you play fast, that I mean, you always feel like you got to release early. It's just so spread, yeah. Yeah. You'll see sure. that here it's a lot loopier. Maybe that was a shoot. Sometimes we mix it in, but Yeah. When you go to push and tip and recycle exactly how it, it's high and it's fast into the top of the block. So many people, like especially you, we teach this at our camps and clinics. But Mike, if you want to speak more, like it's a nice out of system set, tight. He can, boom, and it's fast and high into the top of the block, and you cover this ball. You see, e much easier to cover this ball with. For me, it's like I don't know if it's just a hand contact thing that some people don't have, but it's super simple. If you just add top spin to the ball, mm -hmm. like these guys play these float serves into the block, and it's like, dude, yeah. <laughs> we have to cover that. That's impossible to cover. And just like throwing against the wall, like if you throw it against the wall or you hit against the wall like flat, it comes back at you like flat the same way and maybe lower. If you hit up against the wall with a ton of topspin, where does the ball go? The ball will, should hit and bounce up. Mm -hmm. And it's the same idea on the block. Like you should be adding a lot of topspin and the ball, the, the ball will hit it. And also they're not, it's really difficult to like manipulate the ball on the block when somebody like hits it roll shots it but with topspin it's just gonna come back with a nice parabola oh jeez yeah we didn't so he likes swinging does namir in general like like attacking line a lot more on because i know i mean at least in this yeah. match he's challenging the line a lot 
Yeah, he's more in line, I would say. But now that we've played that, now that we're playing shoot, um, we're playing fastback. It, it's opened up his his sharp mm -hmm. diagonal a lot. For us, we have a lefty Indra. He's just yeah, super fast, super fast, fast arm. Fast. Boom, and he can you throw it fast back there, and he can deal with it. Like one thing is like he gets on it, shoot. So if I come off, he always tells me error inside. He's like, man, I'll just jump on the ball and go fast on my arm. But also, like, if the ball gets a little, like, if the block's there, he lets the ball fall a little bit and brings, like, his his decision-making on that and his ability to, like, cut the ball off early, let the ball fall a little bit, or just go high, you know, like, he's, he's really good with this. I was a Gee, man, that's crazy. He's got such a crazy arm. Yeah. So we always go, we go pretty fast back. And that's kind of breakdown of all the, okay. all the different positions. We can do more of this. I mean, we can get more specifics if there's certain like yeah. areas that you guys want. But I think it's cool content. I think it plays. It also shows you the type of stuff we talk about at our camps and clinics as well, like I said. Um, and this is the type of stuff we work on. And people always ask, well, what, like, what's one or two pieces of advice you have for like setters? I'm like, man, it, you have to have the basics. Like, you have to have strong core. You have to be able to locate the ball. Like, that's like the most important. But then, like, as you get to higher levels, there's just so much more that goes into it on the mental side of the game. Um, that's experience. Yeah, you gotta be yeah, on the court so playing. Much, so much going on. So yeah, that's it for me. I gotta run to lunch. Yeah, no, that's cool stuff, Micah. Uh, okay. Again, people, uh, we appreciate it. Till next week, uh, Micah. He starts for Turkish Cup this week, and I start playoffs. So, best of luck to everybody, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.